Consultants National Training Group. Today I'm talking about the situation where CRA changes your personal income tax return. So they do this occasionally. They do it when they match up slips or when they find a calculation error. If you have a tax preparer, the person who did your return, then you forward this information to your tax preparer and you move on. This is why you have a tax preparer, so you don't have to deal with CRA. If, however, you did your own return, then you have to figure out if CRA is correct in the changes they've made. Perhaps they have found a T slip, like a T4, a T5, a T3, that you failed to put on your return or that you didn't get. And CRA now has, of course, because the person who issued it has issued it to CRA. If CRA is right, there's nothing you have to do but pay the bill. So what if CRA is wrong? They have included income that isn't yours. They have included income that you put in a different place. Then you need to try to fix this. Best bet would be to contact CRA, usually early in the morning is best if you're going to call them, and see if you can get it resolved that way. The issue is that you only have 90 days, generally, to object to a reassessment of your tax return. So you need to keep track of the 90 days. It's 90 days from the date on the notice of assessment. And if you get to 80 days without having a resolution from CRA, what you need to do at that point is file a notice of objection. It's a form T400A. You can find it on the CRA website and you need to fill it out, tell them what the problem is and get it sent to CRA, either upload it on your My CRA or send it registered mail. So there's proof you sent it within the 90 days. So if CRA changes your return and you don't have a tax preparer, if they're correct, pay the bill. If they're not correct, then you need to follow notice of rejection within 90 days if you can't get it resolved within that time period.